And as the world gears up for Diwali, here are some useful tips that can make your home look vibrant and sustainable this festive season. Take a look. As we prepare ourselves to welcome the festival of lights, our excitement levels to decorate our sweet homes also tune up. But it's important to note that the desire to have a stunning home should not affect the well-being of our planet. With making some conscious choices and decisions, we can have a very festive home at the same time. We can keep our earth safe and sound. Diwali is right around the corner and there's a lot of festivity, a lot of very positive uh, environment all around, a lot of shopping going on. I just wish that the, especially the youngsters, because they are going to take the future forward. If they could be made more aware, they could be exposed to the possibilities of saving the environment, contributing positively to the health of the earth. Ultimately, it's our own health. We have eco-friendly materials. We have reclaimed materials. And they are generally called green uh, materials or green solutions. And by eco-friendly, I mean which doesn't, which which is a non-polluting or a or, or a lesser polluting substance, and which kind of merges with the earth. And reclaimed is, for instance, there are fallen trees, there are fallen logs, or there are rocks which could be made use of. So making use of those instead of cutting afresh. So basically lightening the load on the on our planet. So here, when I say. I've got a reclaimed wood uh, object, which is which is a translated ledge, both functional and decorative. And on that we have lying the terracotta hands, which are again very eco-friendly. They just finish off with the soil, wood, bronzes. Now look at this candle stand. Although it's done with reclaimed wood, burnt finish. Yet it's got a very luxe element, a very unique uh, presence in a in a space. Then we normally, for the ease of convenience, we are putting silk flowers or we are putting plastic uh, flowers. One could be fresh flowers. The other option is on a permanent basis we could have these dried flower arrangements. Basic materials like copper, brass, ceramic, they work very well in terms of uh, an eco-friendly decor. Now let's turn to the world of fabrics, an important investment that homes generally make as part of the festive season extravaganza. In terms of uh, sofa fabrics or chair fabrics, we've got these kind of cotton kilims, which could be a stunning uh, pattern out of these black and whites or it could be out of these indigos. So these are completely cotton based. So they are very, very eco-friendly, absolutely. But it's difficult to change 100%. At least we could start. An interesting tip. You could always repurpose your existing furniture. Upholstering your current sofa sets is always an option. In case you have old classic furniture that doesn't really fit in with your current setting, no worries. You could always paint it in bright colors, making it look lively, festive, and current. Make sure that the paints that are used for painting your walls and furniture are water-based and do not have a VOC component. This avoids any harmful emissions and at the same time these paints are great for the environment. With Diwali almost around the corner, it is not too late to act responsibly and integrate sustainability in your homes and resolve to make this into a lifestyle change and not just limit it to a trend.